Hello everyone and welcome to another top 5 records video and another one in the series in which I'm taking a closer look at the full discography of the Beatles. And today we have arrived in 1965 at this album, Help! And Help is always tough to find in a good sounding version. As a matter of fact, it always sounds slightly muddy. I'm not sure what was going on there. Uh, I believe it was even Steve Hoffman who on his forum said it's even in the best case help never sounds just quite like the other versions. What I'm holding here is a first UK mono pressing. I have listened to a first uh, Dutch pressing with the uh, uh, UK stampers which doesn't sound bad. I've listened to the 2014 version which I have. I've listened to the Hertzu stereo, a stereo version. Uh, I have uh, a German or, and, uh, and also a Dutch stereo version of this. Um, and what I'm holding here is the first UK mono, which is, in my opinion, the best sounding version yet. Um, the master of, for example, yesterday always sounds slightly, uh, it has a certain distortion in, this, in, in the vocal, which um it's it's on the on on those stampers i also have that on the, on the dutch pressing so it's it's never it doesn't sound as spectacular as uh with the beatles for example or um even the beatles for sale and especially not if you take a look at the uh later albums now when you take a look at this as is their fifth album uh, it's an interesting story uh, because 1965 was, in a lot of ways, a mirror to the year before. Uh, write songs for a film, record the film, finish the soundtrack album, and this is the soundtrack album of the movie Help, and I really think the film Help is better than the film A Hard Day's Night, and I also think this album is pretty much better than A Hard Day's Night, though A Hard Day's Night is a good album, of course, but I think Help is a breakthrough moment for them in the sense that their albums start to become much more a situation of variation. This is a really diverse album. I'm gonna take a closer look. It opens with the song Help and just as with the Beatles for Sale it has some I'm a loser. Help is John Lennon becoming more open, more fragile and he's shouting it. I mean Help is a banger, but it is, this man, he, he is so, he's so fragile. I mean, I love that. It gives these newer albums more emotional depth, and I love that. Uh, the Night Before is nice. You've Gotta Hide Your Love Away. I really like that song. Great songs. Uh, I Need You. I, I mean, that's a good George Harrison song. I Need You. I mean... This guy knows how to write songs as well. I mean, he, he always found it tough that there was this competition from John Lennon and Paul McCartney who always saw themselves as serious songwriters. I mean, they are considered serious songwriters, but early on in their career they knew we are serious songwriters. Our songs could and should be played not only by us. Um, so that, so they are seri serious songwriters. And George Harrison is in a band with incredible uh, competition. But I Need You is a very good song. I mean, I mean... Oh, I mean, it has balls and it gives something new to these albums, you know. Um, Another Girl is, um, how do you say, I think Melody Wise Another Girl is good, it's interesting. Uh, through thick and thin, you know, there are these interesting developments music, uh, melodically going on. Um, but the pride he takes in dumping a girl with his energy, but I've got another girl. Ah, you know, you know. Ah, I'm not. I'm not saying cancel this. I mean, I don't like canceling at all. But you know, sometimes uh, uh, lyrics from the '60s can seem uh, to me, or in these times, um, problematic might not be the right word, but just I don't share. The, I don't share the, the emotions. I don't share the statement. BB uh, King has some lyrics on, in which I think, yeah, beautiful melodies, but but. The way you're thinking about relationships, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going along with that. Uh, the Beatles also have obviously the, fa the the song on which I'm going to talk about on Robert Soul. Um, you better run for your life, you gang, little girl. Catch you with, if I catch you with another man, that'll be the end of you, little girl. You know, 
Ah, that, I would I would even call that problematic. That's a problematic lyric. This is just bastard behavior. Good melody though. Um, and after that, you get you're gonna lose that girl, uh, John Lennon. Also, basically saying somebody, uh, I'm gonna say, you know, uh, uh, you're gonna take her out tonight, and I'm, I'm I'm gonna if you're not gonna take her out tonight, I'm gonna treat her right. You know, I'm 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 paraphrasing. I'm not, it's not a literal line. Um, might also be somewhat of a bastard lyric. Not as bastard as another girl in it. Yeah, I like it. I like that song. Uh, ended up with Ticket to Ride. Beautiful banger. I love Ticket to Ride. Then side two, Act Naturally. The Ringo moment on this album is perhaps Ringo's finest moment. No, I might give that to the White album, but I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll... <laughs> Uh, I'll talk about that when I ended uh, the, the White Album. Act Naturally, to me, is one of Ringo's finest moments. Uh, I know the song originally by um, Buck Owens and the Buckaroos, which is gorgeous, but it is Ringo all out. It Like it's written for him, especially for him. And having a country song here, I mean, it makes the album diverse. I really love it. It makes it... This is an album with surprises. You know, you put it on, you know nothing. And out of the... The, the, let's call it the first phase of the Beatles this is the one with the most surprises and after you get It's Only Love oh, th that is one of the highlights of beautiful uh, beautiful Beatles melody John Lennon does a great job It's Only Love uh, spot, spot on good song you know uh, You Like Me Too Much is also a pretty good song Tell Me What You See the fourth song also so good I mean Side two is so strong, and then song five. I've just seen a face I can't forget. Falling, yes, I'm falling. I just love that song. I mean, I love the melody. It's so good. I I listened to that song. I heard that song on Paul McCartney live recordings before I heard it on Help, and so when I found it on Help, I was blown back. It's such a cheerful, beautiful. Mel mel melodic song, awesome. And after that, you, I mean, after I've just seen a face you get yesterday, which for me is a highlight. I mean, yeah, um, it's just, it's, I mean, this song just never grows old. It's so incredibly good on so many levels. It just, masterpiece of a song, masterpiece of a song. Give so much more depth to the record as a, uh, as a whole. Although it is already a beautiful album full of variations, beautiful lyrics. It's, I mean, the entire album help. It is such, such a strong record. And they ended up with Dizzy Miss Lizzy, which is always a bit of a strange song to end this album with. I, I do think that. But it's good, it's nice, it's powerful, a good cover. Man, I really like Help. And they are, the Beatles are taking the places on this album. I really, really love it. That's my review of Help. I'm gonna talk about Rubber Soul in the next video. I mean, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave a comment below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.